Hey stampers, and yes, this is for my guy stampers too. I've gotten a few comments. Um, so this is a little shout out to uh, my male stampers. So welcome everyone. Today's card is gonna be this fun braided card. So I'm really excited. Um, it's, it's pretty easy to do. I've done it for a couple of stamp camps and parties and the ladies look at me like, oh my gosh, is she really gonna make us do that? It's not nearly as hard as it looks. So um, what are you gonna need? Not a whole lot. Honestly, you just need, um, I use the Rain or Shine stamp set, which is in the Stampin' Up! Spring catalog. I just like it, I like it a lot. I love the umbrellas. And then you also need a template. And I will have this template available for download on my website. And uh, this is actually, it's one template that you need. Um, and you can cut it into several. But I've actually gone and photocopied it and photocopied it and photocopied it until I got as many as I could on a sheet. Um, so you just actually need one template, but I'll have it online for you to download. And so you'll need your white cardstock. Um, I use Calypso Coral. Love this color. And honestly, I did not coordinate my outfit with today's card. I actually was wearing this and planning today's card. So um, anyway, it just kind of worked out that way. I've also got Calypso Coral Ribbon, and this was from Celebration, and it's just so beautiful that, you know, and it matched the, uh, the umbrella so well. Pull that out. I've got a little bit of yellow here, Daffodil Delight, and that is for my flower. And then I'm going to use Early Espresso. You could use Chocolate Chip or Soft Suede for the umbrella handle. I think it's just kind of whatever you have at home. And the bottom blue is Baja Breeze, so that is about it. All right, so we're going to go ahead and fold our paper in half, our Whisper White paper in half. So we're going to do that. Now you're going to also need some paper clips. And I have got my template here. And when you look at the template, you'll see that there's a solid line down the edge. That line needs to match up with the creased edge of your card. And what you're going to do is you're going to take and match that up, and you're going to put these paper clips on each end. That is just so that you can hold it into place. Now what you don't want to do is you don't want the line on each end of this template to be really close to the bottom or to the top of the card because if it is, then you'll cut right through your card. So it's very important that you, um, you really position it right. So yeah, I am fiddling with it a little bit because I have done this a few times and I have cut through my card and it's made me cranky. So we're going to go ahead and do it just like that. There you go. So you have your paper clips on each end. Now you need a pair of paper snips. What you're going to do is you are going to cut up on each one of these little bitty lines. And the thing is, is you want to go all the way to the end of each line. And make sure you keep your template in place. You might have to hold it along with your paper clips. Now you don't want to cut any further than, than the line. So it's really important in order to keep it even and spaced that you only cut where you need to cut. And so it looks like I've got about four more here and then I will show you how to make this fabulous braid. It's really cool. I'm trying to think where I learned this technique. I think I learned it at convention when I first started seven years ago, five years ago. Oh my gosh, five years ago. What am I thinking? Okay, so. Now what we have here is you can see that it's all cut up and what you're going to do is this is the most important piece right here is you're going to take this very bottom one and you're going to fold it towards you and then you can see you've got kind of a triangle there and by doing that then I would go ahead and you can go ahead and close your card if it's easier and what you're going to do is you are going to cut straight across here on the bottom. Now you don't want to cut on a diagonal, but you want to try to go straight across if you can. And this little piece right here, you don't want to lose it. It is very important. So now what we're going to do is we're going to open our card and have the card facing you. And then you're going to, you're going to look at you've got the open triangle missing, and then you have a second triangle. Now you're going to go to your third triangle, and you're going to tuck it underneath that triangle. And then you're going to skip one and go to the next one and tuck it under, and then skip one, go to the next one, and you just keep on going just like that. And it totally starts to come together, and it looks super cool. You get totally, you get to the top here, and then you see we're kind of missing in the pattern. And that is where this one comes in that you actually cut from the bottom when you start it. 
So to save time, I probably use Tombow, but to save time, I'm just going to go ahead and use mini glue dots. I'm sure it doesn't really matter. And I'm going to stick my triangle underneath here just like the rest of them. And we're going to use our mini glue dots to hold it down just like that. Now you can close your card and you have this fabulous braid. That is really cool. Really, really easy. So next what I did is I've got the polka dotted embossing folder, the Stampin' Up! polka dotted embossing folder. And I just ran it through the Big Shot. And this um, and all of the dimensions for this card will be on my website. So if you do not hear them or see them, you will be able to visit my website if you look in the description of the video, and it will tell you exactly what the dimensions of everything um, is. So what I'm going to do is I am going to go ahead and glue this piece down. Now as I'm doing that, I'm noticing here at the bottom that I may have done it a little too long. So that's okay, we'll just use our paper snips and just cut along the edge. Perfect. All right, so the next thing we're gonna do is we have Baja Breeze and we have our Whisper White piece. Now my thing is, is you should always stamp first. And the reason why? Well, there's two sides to every sheet of paper, so that means that you'll have a second try. Now, this, um, this, this little guy here, this little umbrella handle, He's been kind of a source of a little bit of frustration because it's hard to kind of get him without all the squiggly lines. Um, like if you were rocking, oh look at that, that one turned out great. So there you have it, there's the umbrella. And what I'm going to do is I would stamp your umbrella on a scrap sheet of paper. I'm stamping it in Calypso Coral. And at my stamp camp, lady said, oh, you know, do you have a punch for that? You know, I wish we had a punch for everything, but we don't. So we're going to go with cutting it out. But to save time, I have already cut one out. So I'm going to go ahead and um, use a Stampin' Dimensional. I'm going to put that right here on the top of my umbrella. Love it. Now I've got my words here, my greeting. Thoughts of you, rain or shine. So I'm going to use that one. I'm going to ink it up and do my best to stamp that in the middle here. And let me just tell you, I struggle on this one. I don't know if I just mounted my sticker bad or what I did, but there we go. Perfect. Now what we're going to do is we're going to put that right there on top under our umbrella. And you know, I like things popped up for dimension. You certainly don't have to, but I do love my Stampin' Dimensionals. So I'm going to put that right here underneath my umbrella. And then what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and just glue this Whisper White piece onto our Baja Breeze, just like that. Very nice, it's coming right along. And then we're gonna flip it over and we'll just put a Stampin' Dimensional on each side here. Might put one right there. What we're gonna do is we're gonna stick that right here in the center, kind of in the center of our card. I'm gonna actually kind of center it in the polka dotted area. And you know, I kind of like, you know, just the same sort of, um, width all the way around the car, the, around this center piece. So it looks like I've got maybe um, a little bit, maybe three eighths of an inch um, all the way around. Perfect. So now what we're going to do is we are going to punch this beautiful little flower. And I'm just using the little itty bitty flower punch. And I'm going to go ahead and just kind of scrunch it up a little bit. I kind of like um, the texture. I kind of like it looking a little bit, a little bit not so perfect. I'm going to stick that right there on the top. Perfect. Next thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to add your rhinestone, your Stampin' Up! Jewel, right here to the center. And then what we're going to do is I have cut a piece of Calypso Coral. And you can use any ribbon that you want. And what I did is I opened up my card and I just kind of thought it was a neat accent and I just, in a sense, sort of maybe like pulled it through that braid and then I tied it in a knot or in a nice decorative knot. I tied it twice and then I just cut it off and that was really it. Um, I just liked the little bit of accent that kind of goes with the umbrella. And my scissors, for some reason, are a wee bit dull. So I've got some fabric scissors here that I use to cut my ribbon with. I like my ribbon cut on an angle. 
All right, there you have it. Thoughts of you, rain or shine. So that is my fun braided card. So I hope that you give it a try. I have to show you that my dear Aunt Judy was so inspired that she sent me this fabulous braided card from um, this template. So thank you, Aunt Judy, and um, all of my friends in Michigan. This is a really fun card. I hope you guys give it a try. You can see in her card she put the fun window sheet, and then you open it up, and God bless you on the inside. So well done. Awesome. So if you have any questions, let me know. Thanks again for stopping by, and I hope you all have a great day. Hey, Stampers. This is for guys and for gals. Let's try it again. I didn't like it. Mm -hmm. Hey, Stampers. This is for the guys and for the gals. Um, today's project is going to be a fun braided card. Let's, Let's try it. that again because I want to like reach out. Hey Stampers! First off, I want to reach out to all my male Stampers out there. So I am so glad to have you guys with us as well as our female Stampers. Since I have a tendency to... No. 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 Hey Stampers! Well I have... Um... Okay, just keep it going. <laughs> <laughs> Hey guys, I have gotten some comments recently. No, wait, just stop it. Stop, look. <laughs> Let me do it again. Uh, Let me just do it one more time. <laughs> Let me just do it one more time. Okay, go ahead. Oh yeah, you're not gonna shut it off? I'm gonna shut it off. Hey Stampers, and yes, that means the male. <laughs> what did you say? I'm sorry. That means, hey Stampers, I've gotten a few comments from my male Stampers out there. Hey, Stampers. And yes, that is my male stamp. Yes, this is for male Stampers, too. I have gotten a few comments <laughs> from my male Stampers that aren't feeling included. But yeah, that. <laughs>